Tini, the Dark Master of Escape, welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You are truly going to put your life on the line tonight. You're going to be handcuffed, chained, locked yep. inside a vault. The vault is going to be set on fire. Then you have to find your way out. Are you frightened? Because I know I am. I am shaking and it's not because of the cold. This is dangerous. That vault up there, Come. they're going to hit that thing with flamethrowers from three sides. And I got to get out before it turns into an oven. This is going to be incredible. This is not an illusion. It's done real. No edits. It's going to be cool. Yep. Now, I have to say, no one at home should attempt this stunt. It is very dangerous. Kids, don't try this at home. You are a professional, trained escape artist. How long have you been doing this, and what other escape stunts have you pulled off? I started when I was 14. I've gotten out of coffins underwater and cranes and straight jackets. And, but this one, this is a nightmare. Here's the ball. The tension builds. Santini? Now, this is going to be an incredible escape stunt, performed live in front of 35,000 people. Now, we had the unique opportunity to get a behind-the-scenes glimpse of Santini and his team as they trained for this amazing, death-defying stunt. So let's take a look. Stepping out to do something like this makes me very, very concerned, naturally for my safety, but also because it's never been done before. It's a virtual oven. The door to the safe is going to be open. There's handcuffs by a welded chain attached to the door. I'm going to be handcuffed in those, step inside the safe, the door is going to be slammed shut, and then the handle's turn to throw the bolts, combination dial is going to be spun. There's no way to reach that dial or the lock mechanism from the inside. The flames are going to be turned on, heating the safe up, in about a minute to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have to get out before the oxygen is depleted or before I catch fire. Well, the other day we were performing it. I got inside the torches, uh, heated up the box, the vault, and it set my, uh, my jacket on fire. You'll probably cook like a turkey in there. I'm very nervous. My biggest concern right now is getting Steve through this alive. I think he's the crazy son of a bitch I've ever seen. I just sincerely hope that I'm out in less than a minute. Well, Santini, I can say that I feel a little bit better now. A little less nervous. Yeah, right. Well, Santini will be back later on in the show to perform this death-defying act on live TV. I can't I, wait. I think your crew is more nervous than you are. <laughs> Guys, stick around. We are coming back with the biggest and best party. This is Canada's New Year's Eve. Still to come, Bedouin Sound Clash. Coming up, a razor-sharp performance by... Warning, the stunt escape performed in this program is designed and tested by Santini, a trained professional escape artist. This demonstration is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone at any time. Hey, what's up, y'all? I just want to take the moment to say Happy New Year to everybody in Canada. Thank you so much for being so awesome. For everybody that's here at Nathan Phillips Square, Thank you for coming out. Happy New Year. Have a wonderful 2006. Peace. This is Canada's colossal New Year's Eve bash. Welcome, everyone, to Canada's New Year's Eve party. Now, if you've been blown away so far by the performances that we've had, we've got a lot more to come. Bedouin Sound Clash is in the house. And of course, it's about to get really fiery in here. Oh, Larissa, you are so right. The moment has finally arrived. Here to attempt the most daring escape test ever. Please welcome Santini, the dark master of escape. Now, Santini will escape while being handcuffed and chained inside a locked, burning vault. He will free himself. He'll get out. First well, I up, hope so. I don't have handcuffs for him. First up, we're going to put on these high-security handcuffs. 
Yes, no problem. And as you can see, they're encased in a nylon transport box, which covers the keyhole to the cuffs. Now that prevents anyone from using a lock pick or duplicate key on the cuffs. Very exciting stuff. All I can say is good luck to him, but hang on a second, it gets worse. Because then those handcuffs, look at them. They're being chained in to the vault. Oh my gosh. All we can say is this. good luck to him. Uh, and once that door is slammed shut, and it is slammed shut, the bolts are thrown, the combination lock is spun. Ah, uh, it's crazy. That ensures that no one can access the combination or the lock from the inside. Larissa, let's step back. It's getting hot in here. It's very hot in here. And you know what, Tracy? He has just about a minute to get out. And now they're drilling a lock over the combination. So that really prolongs anyone having access to the lock, adding to the danger. Oh, scary stuff. Danger, I'm not sure this guy's gonna get out. Me neither. I think he can't be in there for more than a minute. You're absolutely right. More than a minute at 400 degrees inside of there, that guy loses oxygen. I might lose my hair. Is he gonna make it? enough hairspray on my hair to style a small city. Trace, I don't know what's going to go on here. As long as I don't lose the dress, you won't. I don't believe this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's really doing this. This is the first time this stunt has ever think been think he's going to get out? Is he going to get out? Well, how long has he been in there? He's been in there for approximately one minute and 13 seconds. Okay, that's too long. That's absolutely too long. I don't believe it. Oh my god. Guys, let's cheer him on! Yeah! Bring him out! Okay, he's, he's losing oxygen, Larissa. Yeah. He's losing oxygen he's, in there. He's losing oxygen. He could pass out. But it's going to happen. Are we standing far back enough? Can you I guys feel it. the heat? I, at what point should we run over there and free him? Um, I'll keep waiting for that point, Larissa. <laughs> I'm not a trained professional. I'm a trained host. Approaching two minutes. I don't believe okay, this. Okay, Larissa, he should be out of there by now. You should run over there and check. You know what? I'll run, run over here, there. and you can go there, because I have a train. <laughs> Guys, it's two minutes now. Is okay. he coming out? I'm freaking out officially. Uh, I'm not sure he's coming out. Is he going to get out? <laughs> Trace, you're freaking out. Look at his crew. I don't know. They're they look very pretty calm. calm. Okay, I don't believe okay. this. 221 now. I can't now. take this anymore. It's approaching three minutes. It's about 400 degrees in that vault. How can he breathe? He's handcuffed and chained to the vault door. <laughs> Is he okay? Is he okay? Yeah, when I was running out of air. <laughs> it's really hot in there. I guess so. Yeah. Let's hear it one more time for Santee, the dark master of escape. He's my hero. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Wasn't that fantastic? Now, did you think he was going to 